Imagine a machine so powerful that it can split atoms, the tiny building blocks of everything in the universe, and use that energy to light up cities like Paris, power factories, and run submarines beneath the ocean. This machine is a nuclear reactor, and while it might sound like science fiction, it is a very real and important part of how we generate electricity today. At the heart of a nuclear reactor lies something called nuclear fission. Fission happens when the nucleus of a heavy atom, usually uranium-235, is hit by a neutron, causing it to split into smaller atoms. This split releases a massive amount of energy in the form of heat and also releases more neutrons. These neutrons then collide with other uranium atoms creating a chain reaction. It's this continuous chain reaction that keeps the reactor running, producing a steady stream of heat. The heat produced from nuclear fission is used to boil water, turning it into steam. This steam is what spins a turbine, a large machine with blades, which is connected to a generator. As the turbine spins, the generator produces electricity. The process is similar to how coal or gas power plants work, except the heat comes from splitting atoms instead of burning fuel. Controlling the chain reaction is crucial, because if it goes too fast, the reactor could overheat, possibly causing a meltdown. On the other hand, if the reaction slows down too much, the reactor could shut down. To manage this, control rods made of materials like boron or cadmium are inserted into the reactor core. These rods absorb neutrons, slowing down the chain reaction when needed. By adjusting the position of these control rods, operators can control how much heat is produced. To keep everything cool, reactors use a coolant, usually water, that flows through the core. This water absorbs the heat from fission and carries it away to produce steam. In some designs, the water also acts as a barrier, preventing radiation from escaping the reactor. A nuclear reactor is housed in a thick, reinforced containment structure made of concrete and steel. This is a safety measure to prevent radiation from leaking out into the environment. Multiple layers of protection ensure that even if something goes wrong inside the reactor, the radioactive material remains contained. One of the biggest advantages of nuclear reactors is that they produce a lot of energy from a small amount of fuel, and they don't release greenhouse gases like burning coal or gas does. Compared to renewable sources like solar or wind, Nuclear reactors can generate electricity consistently, regardless of weather conditions. However, they also produce radioactive waste, which must be carefully stored for thousands of years to prevent harm to people and the environment. Despite the risks, nuclear reactors are an important part of the global energy mix, providing about 10% of the world's electricity. They operate in many countries, helping to power homes, schools, hospitals, and industries. In simple terms, a nuclear reactor works by splitting atoms to release heat, using that heat to boil water, making steam that spins a turbine, and generating electricity. It's a powerful yet carefully controlled process combining science, engineering, and safety measures to create energy for the modern world. So, the next time you turn on a light or charge your phone, consider that somewhere, deep inside a nuclear power plant, atoms might be splitting to make it all possible. Got a question about how something really works? Drop it in the comments and we might cover your topic in our next video.